instead of buying hummus and guacamole dips with lots of artificial ingredients, make your own. Your guests will be amazed at how tasty they are. We are going to show you how to make delicious versions of both. Guillermo's guacamole has a secret ingredient that makes it more delicious than most. First, we're going to show you how to make the secret ingredient. You'll need avocado oil and avocado leaves. You can buy the leaves at Latin stores. Pour a half cup of avocado oil into a small pot. Break two large avocado leaves into small pieces. Put them in the pot and stir. Simmer on the lowest heat until you see little bubbles forming. Turn off the heat and put the lid on. Let rest for at least 20 minutes and repeat the heating process four times. If you don't have time, just do it once and leave it covered overnight. Once the leaves are infused, you can smell the avocado. Strain the oil. You now have strong avocado oil that will add extra flavor to your guacamole. Chop the coriander. You can leave in most of the stems, they are very flavorful. Dice the onion. To make a small dice, carefully slice sideways through the onion. Slice the tomato into wedges and remove the seeds. This is just to make your guacamole look nicer, you don't have to do it. Chop up your jalapeno. If you want to minimize the spiciness, remove the seeds. If you like your guacamole extra spicy, add another pepper. Slice the avocados in two, then remove the pits. You can do this with a knife as shown, or you can remove the pits with a small spoon, like I do. Slice in a crisscross pattern, then scoop out the inside. Squeeze in the lime and add the salt and avocado oil. We like our guacamole chunky, so we don't mash it. Grab some nacho chips or baguette and dig in. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like. We put lots of effort into making it for you. Guillermo shares six secrets on how to make mouthwatering hummus. Follow the secrets you'll see here today to make restaurant style hummus. Secret number one. Use good quality chickpeas. This makes a big difference in flavor. Soak the chickpeas in a large bowl for at least 8 hours. The longer you soak them, the easier to digest the hummus will be. If you're short on time, don't despair. You can just cook them for longer or use a pressure cooker. Secret number 2. Simmer a bulb of garlic in olive oil for half an hour. A bulb of garlic is enough to give lots of flavor, but not so much that it's overpowering. Cooking the garlic for a long time assures that it's not overly strong, but adds lots of flavor to the hummus. When you're done soaking your chickpeas, strain them and rinse them well. Put them in a pot with about 2 inches of water above the chickpeas. Don't add the salt yet, because that would lengthen the cooking time. Cook the chickpeas for 45 minutes to an hour. Remove the foam to prevent spillage. Secret number 3. Add one teaspoon of baking soda. This softens the chickpea skins. You'll see why this is important when we get to secret number four. The chickpeas are ready when they're very soft, but not coming apart. Strain and rinse them again. Pour them back into the pot. The following secret makes a big difference in the taste of your hummus. Secret number four. Remove the skins of the chickpeas. This is easier to do because the skins have been softened by the baking soda. Put your hands in the water and scoop up some chickpeas. Gently rub them together between your hands to loosen the skins. Do this a few times to loosen as many as you can. Just do it until you run out of patience. Scoop out the skins and strain the chickpeas again. Remove the seeds from your lemon juice. There are a few different ways to do this. Secret number five. Toast the cumin seeds. Add the seeds to a hot pan on medium heat. Constantly stir or jiggle. Toast for about a minute. Grind the seeds with a mortar and pestle. Add the cooked chickpeas to a food processor. You can also use a blender or hand blender. Blend the chickpeas. Add the olive oil and garlic. Lemon juice. 
tahini, cumin, and salt. Secret number six. Mix for a long time to make your hummus silky smooth. As with soups, this is how fine restaurants distinguish themselves. Taste and add more salt if needed. To serve, drizzle with more olive oil and garnish with sumac, paprika, or cayenne pepper. We hope you enjoy these delicious dips. If you make them, let us know in the comments and tell us how they turned out.